Well, hello, my Sagittarius soulmates, and welcome back to the Soulful Creator channel. It's May. Can you believe it's May already? Springtime is here. Starting to see the blossoms on the trees, planting the seeds. What are you guys out there creating? We're going to find out. So we're going to do a soul's message for the month of May and find out what it is you guys are up to and how you're doing on your soulful journey. So let's go ahead and call in holy angels, spirits, and guides, and loved ones from the other side. I'm going to do a quick Celtic cross. Tell us what's going on with Sagittarius. Tell us what the challenge is, what's going on with Sagittarius. What's going on with them in their life? How are they doing on their soulful journey? What are they creating? Okay, Sag. Ooh, the star. Very nice. What is Sag's, Sagittarius's? Ooh. I've been doing readings yesterday and today and my hands are I'm just getting a little bit tired you guys are my last reading so getting a little bit mumble jumbled up with my shuffling okay what's going on with Sag there we go tell us about the future what's the next step action to take solution and tell us about the internal environment external environment perfect Thank you, Spirit. What's going on in Sagittarius's life? And what is the potential outcome solution? Ooh. A, whoop, there we go. That was she was definitely meant to come out. All right, Sagittarius. We are also going to pull from my Power Animal Oracle cards. I thought it would be really fun with spring coming. It's time to get out, go to the zoo, connect with some of our other beings on this planet and see what kind of messages they have for us. It's fun to watch the animals at the zoo when they're coming out of their caves and there we go. What other messages do our spirit animals have for Sagittarius? Whoop. Grab that one off the floor, moose. Says you know what is best for you, Sagittarius. Are you contemplating something? We're also going to pull some surrender cards. What does Sagittarius need to surrender for the month of May? That one definitely wants to come out. What does Sagittarius need to surrender for the month of May? Is there anything else that Sagittarius needs to surrender? Thank you. And we're going to pull from the spirit messages from John Holland. Okay. What is Sagittarius? What are the spirit messages for Sagittarius, please? What spirit messages do you have for Sagittarius? Spirit messages. There we go. What spirit messages do you have for Sagittarius? For the month of May. Month of May message for Sagittarius, please. Holy Angel Spirits and Guides. Holy Angel Spirits and Guides. Perfect. All right, we got a lot now. All right. Let's dive on in. Okay, Sag. It looks to me like you're a little bit bored. There's an opportunity that's coming in that you're thinking about and you're not really wanting to say yes. And I feel like what you're not wanting to say yes to has to do with you stepping into your, you know, into your power and giving your spiritual gifts. Like there's something about your life's purpose that you're kind of in the energy of denial about and not wanting not wanting to do that, not wanting to, it's, you know, you're feeling like, oh, you, you know, you're not ready for it. Or this also can mean that you're maybe feeling a little bit like there's no way I can take on another project and do this other thing because I have to take, I have to keep my job and you're feeling like you want to be balanced. Also can mean that you are feeling like you just can't take any more on in your current career and maybe you're, you're getting an opportunity in your career and you're thinking I, I can't take it on because I can't do any more 
um, because it will take me out of balance. But balance is actually what's struggling, what you're struggling with and why you're kind of turning your turning away from this particular opportunity. Spirit is wanting you to see that at the foundation, it's very important for you to feel like you're secure and to have a secure home where you can come home and feel safe. Um, your past has been really important to you. You know, it's, this is kind of my nostalgia card of what the way life do you, like used to be when you were a child and where you felt comfortable and you were provided for, you know, feeling safe and secure at all. It also can mean that you maybe need to reconnect with some friends from the past or reconnect with someone Maybe you have reconnection on your mind. I don't know if there's someone that maybe you're thinking about reconnecting with, but you're afraid to reconnect with them because you're thinking that you won't be able to stay in balance too is another particular scenario. Now in your past, you, you were very creative, uh, you know, feeling very passionate, um, very excited about life and like um, having full faith in the universe that, um, you know, you have faith in your abilities to plant the seed and grow whatever it is that you that you want to grow. You have full faith in yourself that you know that you have the magic within you to make things happen and feel excited, excited about life. So really good past that's giving you confidence and passion for life. But in the crown chakra, you're bringing in the page of swords and the page of swords in reverse. Uh, so this is going to be it can mean that someone is watching you, that, that you're being seen on social media, maybe someone from your past or your childhood is wanting to reconnect with you and is looking you up, and you're not sure if you should open that door and you know go back into that situation. For some reason, you've got some hesitancy around that. You think it might not be a healthy choice to actually let this person back into your life. Another thing might mean that you are um, potentially kind of in a research in the place of research where you're 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 studying something you're looking at something closely you're trying to see the truth of a situation i don't know if this is resonating with you or not sagittarius um you know i'd love to hear your comments in below if, if i'm hitting a uh, home on anything here now in the future action it's showing you're coming in as the king of pentacles so the king of pentacles this could be an earth element there may be someone that you are looking to business partner with or to get into partnership with or maybe this person from the past that you're wanting to reconcile with maybe someone that's very abundant or someone that owns a business or an entrepreneur of some kind or a leader of some kind someone that has a lot of abundance to share king of pentacles is the energy of knowing that you've been blessed and being able to provide for your family and your loved ones and um, taking care of your body, taking care of your health, taking care of your life, taking care of your bank account. It's very, it's being very responsible. It's being accountable for your, your actions and words and the energy that you embody. It's being able to manage your kingdom. So really good energy of what's coming in in the future is that you're either going to partner with some or you're showing up as the king of pentacles, meaning that yes, you've created some abundance in your life and you are doing a very good job with self-control and discipline and mastering abundance and you know taking care of your, your creations. Like I said, that can be a marriage, that can be a relationship, it could be you know your children, it can be a partnership, but you're doing a very good job of managing your creations. Now the Queen of Pentacles is showing up on your internal environment in the in the reverse, meaning that you're really struggling to, even though you've done a good job of manifesting, you know, actual, you know, house and roof over your head and bank account and all that stuff, you're still kind of struggling with your self-worth a little bit of mastering your inner um, your inner confidence and knowing your worth. It also can mean that you are holding on a little bit too much to your resources and not um, recognizing that you it's okay for you to share some of that and that by sharing what you've earned that that's really going to be very healing for you but there's there's something in in this where you're not really wanting to like put the you know share your abundance at this time and that you're really struggling with seeing your self-worth now I'm being told that you're kind of stuck right now and you're feeling like you're in a position where you have to, you know, so eights are all about self mastery, but it says you're not there yet. You haven't completely ma mastered your lesson around emotions, around love, around fulfillment, what's making you feel fulfilled. You're still really not sure what's bringing in making you feel your worth i guess is what i want to say and so you're gonna you're wanting to move on but you can't the universe is trapping you where you're exactly at and there's not going to be anything else that's going to come until you learn the lesson of what you need to learn about um about your inner worth okay 
So your environment is not going to change and you're not going to be able to move out of a situation. Um, or it can, again, you may decide not to reconcile with this person. You may decide not to reconcile with someone that's kind, trying to come back from your past that you're saying no to. And it might be that you're saying no to that because you realize that if you were to reconcile with that person, that it actually does not align with your soul's purpose. That bringing this person back into your life is not going to be a healthy situation because you are where you are and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing to learn about abundance and your self-worth. But going back and reconciling with this person is, is you're actually concerned that it's not a healthy choice or a healthy thing for you to do. Now you've been, you're afraid of being, of sharing what you have been given because you, you've been hurt and be, there've been people that have, there've been lies and deceit and betrayal and others have hurt you in some, in some way. So there's some hesitancy in trusting others and, and, and reconnecting with others. So you're feeling a little bit like a lone wolf that you're going through life uh, and that life's a bit of a battle. But the outcome of this is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is my unconditionally loving, psychic, intuitive, you know, your ability to completely be open and accepting and loving and, you know, being vulnerable and open and accepting. And so you've got a lot, a lot of cups in your reading here. You've got you know, you got the four of cups and you've got the six of cups and then you've got the eight of cups in reverse and then you have the queen of cups. So that's a lot that has to do with you being comfortable with your emotions and being able to be comfortable talking about your emotions, maybe talking about your emotions with your partner, being comfortable with what you need to learn from your emotions and how you feel about when you're around certain people from your past that maybe trigger you, that maybe trigger you to where you're not in alignment with your highest self. But Spirit wants you to know that these people from your past, even though they may want to reconcile and you're hesitant to let them in because you're afraid that you, you know, that it's not aligned with your purpose or that it will pull, trigger you and pull you back into being that energy of, of not feeling love. Spirit wants you to know the outcome is Queen of, Queen of Pentacles of cups you've absolutely learned what you needed to learn from the situation to get comfortable with your feelings and and you know that 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 you are a very very loving person that is very open and comfortable with their emotions so that's what i'm getting for you i hope this is making sense for you guys so it's a little bit hard for me to interpret don't know if it's because it's the last one of my day all right so sagittarius we've got the coyote as the wise fool accept your follies and find the teaching in them so if there's been something like i said with people or with people that have betrayed you or if you haven't had boundaries that you've put up or if you've been partnering with people and or in relationships with people that are all about inning it being in it to win it you know th there's lessons around that and to find the teaching in having those experiences otter is saying let go of control this is the surrender card so you're being told to surrender to the experience that you're having and then moose is the authority card you know what is best for you so again whether or not you choose to reconcile with this person because you're afraid that you won't be able to show up as your highest self spirit wants you to know that you are strong enough and you are unconditionally loving and you would you would if you want to reconcile with this person you definitely can um do that and and you'll be fine because you've learned what you needed to learn from this situation all right so as far as what you need to surrender we have surrender stubbornness if you're tensing up or lacking a rigid taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more lovingly with your others and self surrender to joy a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times and surrender keep surrendering to more joy so that's a beautiful card i love that this joy card card goes along very well with being the queen of cups and having that unconditionally being able to hold the, the energy of the universe, which is unconditional love and joy. 
Surrender to wonder and awe, open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you in, and connected to the ecstasy of flow. So flow, meaning that we, we flow when we have relationships, when we reconnect with people from the past, when we, you know, it's, it's being able to love all the experiences, the good and the bad. Surrender to the habit of people pleasing. All right, this says, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else else happy. So if there's something in that for you, please let me know in the comments below. All right, we have quite a few messages that came through for you from Spirit. All right, so we have surrender, or so we have self-sabotage. Get out of your own way and there will be no stopping you, okay? We have gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. And focus on gratitude. You'll start attracting prosperity and abundance. We have a child's li a love. There might be a child of significance that you're that's on your mind. We also have letting go getting vulnerable and forgiveness forgiveness so if you're upset with yourself for some reason for something that's happened i don't know if there's something there but um, holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth so you just need to let it go that's where being vulnerable and trusting and surrendering to her spirit and then just letting things go can really help you all right, Sag, let's go ahead and dive in and just ask Spirit, is there anything else that we need to see about uh, Sagittarius on their soulful journey? What's going on with Sagittarius and how can we help them with the situation where there's concern about reconciling with someone from the past and whether or not they'll be able to stand in their strength and power of unconditional love and being able to trust others and to stay open and give of the abundance that they've been given to stay in flow. Is there anything else we need to know about Sagittarius on their soulful journey for the month of May? Okay, I'm not getting anything else, Sagittarius, so let's just dive in. We're going to take a look at your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul. And it looks like we only got heart, mind, and body so you're doing a good job with your soul heart wise the energy of pain that is hurting you is feeling overwhelmed right now and spirit wants you to know that if you'll just get back to being childlike and playful that you will be able to let go and release these energies of pain and when we release and open the heart and we let the, those childlike energies of love and play come in then it heals the heart so that you can feel fully alive, okay, and let your soul live through you in this human journey. All right, and then we also have that there may be an energy when we breathe in life, the first breath of life comes in and then we start to have life experiences which puts us on a journey and then our brain has to do some discernment and goes through the program, the belief programs to determine what is helpful and what is harmful, what supports you and your highest self and what does not. And you have to throw away those things that don't serve you anymore. The illusion that you may still be getting caught up in is jealousy. So ask yourself, what is it that you think you can't create yourself? Because jealousy only comes from a place of not believing in your ability to create it. Because the, the world's your oyster and you can create, you are the creator creator of your creations and you can create anything you want. So there's no need. You can throw away this illusion of jealousy by being open-minded and reflective. So Spirit's wanting you to say, look back at all that you've created in your life. Look at all that you've done in your life and keep an open mind. And that's going to give you the clarity that you can absolutely believe in yourself and focus on that healthy belief that you can create anything you want. Now you're, um, when it comes to the body, the body holds the energy and becomes a magnet where it, you end up acting and shaping your character and then that ends up attracting certain life scenarios that happen you know, on earth, right? So in your life experience. So as you act, you will attract certain things in your life. And in the lower human journey, we have a tendency to not remember that our soul is helping us create and that we're aligned with creation and that, and that when we are embodying the energy of the soul, which is abundance and love, 
that we are actually consciously creating and acting and attracting love and abundance in our life. But when we believe that we're alone and that we're not creating with our soul, then, you know, we and we don't create from a place of connection, then we often feel alone when we're here creating. We feel like creating is a bit of, a, of, of hard work instead of play. And so the energy of the human experience of being defensive when you're creating, if you're feeling like you're constantly, you know, having to be defensive in you know for some reason that energy of being defensive and what you do have to defend what you're creating and defend yourself is not connect it's not coming from a place of connection of feeling like you're you're you know co-creating with the divine right and so just align with those energies of creation which is embody the energy of uh, I wouldn't defend and push away life experiences, but allow yourself to have these experiences of life. And maybe one of those experiences is having this experience of reconnection and not being afraid of being rejected, you know, and not being afraid of reconnecting for some reason that's coming through. Because you know that you are your highest self, Sagittarius, and you know that you are the unconditionally loving psychic um, queen of cups that has the ability to stay open and accept all of life's experiences and lessons all right that is what i have for you sagittarius i hope that you enjoyed this reading and i would ask you to please support the channel we really need your help by liking us sharing it with your family and friends and then subscribing that helps us grow the channel and reach more soulmates out there that are struggling on their soulful journey we're just trying to bring the truth to the situation and help people manifest their highest self so I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you have a, a fantastic month of May and um, enjoy the springtime and the sunshine out there. And, you know, just remember you are the star Sagittarius and you're going to succeed in all that you do. There's nothing to be afraid of. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys on the next one.